God bless everybody. Welcome to another episode of Activados. And and for me, it's a privilege to have my brother here, Adriel Berrios. And, Amen. And thank you for being here. I know it's a busy day for you, and we appreciate the time Always you're, busy, you're, right? you're taking to be here with us. And, and what we're doing today, what we're doing right now, we're going to do a small debate, right? And because of his his project word away wow um we're gonna we want to talk about something that's important and we you were mentioning that um the resurrection is one of the the most important piece of the gospel and so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna be a person that does not believe now i do believe just to make make clear that everybody's listening to you i believe that god resurrected but the questions i'm gonna make and the and and the conversation we're gonna have is that i am an unbeliever that needs facts is that correct yeah okay so i'm gonna ask him questions and he's gonna respond in the apologetic way is that correct Okay, and that's what we're going to do today. Are you, are you good for that? I'm good for it. Are you, are we, we have uh, discussed this, <laughs> and he is ready. And I'm going to take it, you know, um, I'm going to be a person that does not believe. And I believe that um, that it's, I could play this paper very well because I was a person that did not believe at one point. Okay, ooh, so, that, so that's – nah, but I'm not going to be that rough. So talk to me, brother. Um, I'm a person that's read the Bible, okay, and I believe that the Bible is a book of fiction. So when something supernatural occurs, like the resurrection of Christ, it, it's beyond my comprehension. It's beyond something that, you know, in the, in the way of my mind accepting it, that, that's some, that is something that can happen, is something that I refuse to believe. Why is the resurrection real? Why is that, that something that happened? Well, um, I'll start with what well most you started with the Bible, so mm-hmm. I'll start there. Um, and it's in its own discussion as to prove the validity of the Bible mm-hmm. that there's good reason to believe that what the writers were expressing is true and but the Bible and in its entirety. Mm-hmm. But if we zoom in specifically on the four gospels, okay. the Mark, Matthew, uh, Luke, and John, these disciples, and well, two disciples and two uh, others, they had nothing to gain mm-hmm. from lying to everybody that Jesus resurrected. Okay. They had no reason to make up a, 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 a fable. What, what would they gain mm-hmm. if they were to proclaim that man, Jesus, mm-hmm. the one you crucified is back. Okay. He's, he's God. He proved himself to be God. What would they gain out of that? So your argument is saying that they would gain nothing from tr- making well, something like this. Let up. me ask you. Let, uh, tr- let me try to have you answer that though. What would they gain if they t- if they were going out telling people that? Mm, if, what, what would be the reaction? Right. Well, they would gain um, the minds of people that would believe it. I'm. I'm I know. I know where you're getting to. Yeah. What I'm saying is, they they wouldn't receive. They wouldn't be uh, well received. Mm-hmm. What did they get in return for preaching the gospel? For saying, Jesus, no kidding, I saw him. Mm-hmm. I felt him. Thomas, I was an unbeliever. And then he came to me, spoke well, to me. If they be- if they witness this yeah. and they believe it, I think it strengthened their faith. Yes. Okay. But it brought them to death. Okay. You think it, it, it's a So it, for, for, for preaching that, the resurrection. Um, preaching that um, Jesus is the, the the one sent by God, it mm-hmm. brought him death. Yes, that's what that's the result of that preaching. Yes, okay, that's that's what it was. Okay, they knew that there was nothing good to come out of mm-hmm. being s- something so controversial mm-hmm. to say yes, Jesus is God. Jesus, everything that Jesus was saying was true. The disciples didn't believe, and much less understood what Jesus was saying on earth. The Bible makes that abundantly clear. The disciples were like, I don't know what Jesus is talking about. And then they, he comes back and he says, I need you to go do this. Mm-hmm. Matthew 28, 19. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And that's <laughs> where the, 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 the great commission is born. The, the, radi- yeah. the radicality yeah. of the, the disciples. They, the, the disciples only gain death out of it is my point. So what you're saying, the people that killed these dis- the disciples, you know, um, they didn't believe them either. It's more as that they didn't want to believe. They didn't want say. to believe. Okay. It's 
It's just think about it. If, but weren't they there? Like a lot of the people that aren't in their age group, right? Weren't they there in that time frame when uh, where Jesus died on the cross and and the three days later where he re- resurrected? Was it, weren't they around at that point? I mean, I'm pretty sure there was noise going on that that, that happened. Yes. Well, okay. the re- the appearances of Jesus were rather selective. Okay. I think, and this is just my opinion, if Jesus would have appeared to, say, a Pharisee or of the sort, the Pharisee would have just kept quiet, would have hush-hushed. Because it was have, part of their agenda. Yes. Okay. Um, they much more wouldn't want to believe if... Jesus resurrected from the dead. Mm-hmm. If that was God mm-hmm. manifest in flesh telling us that we're dead in our sins mm-hmm. and now we need to go by, we're in trouble. Mm-hmm. We got to stop everything that we're doing. Right. It's not works anymore. It's the perfect price has been paid. You, you see where right. I'm going? Right. So it's, 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 it's the whole, the whole message has changed. The dispensation has changed. The time has changed. Mm-hmm. We're not saved by blood sacrifice anymore. Okay. We're saved that's by part of the law of Moses. Yes. You know, yeah. And and that's 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 what they wanted to hold on to. Okay. They wanted to hold on to the work. Is to it the more re- holding on to, to the, the religion? To the religion. To the their tradition. Power, right? Yes. They're, that's well said. Okay. But obviously, God is going to have his way no matter how we want to propagate ours. So can I ask you a question? Have you been to the tomb? I haven't been to the tomb. Okay. So you're sure that that's a tomb that they put Jesus in? That one tomb that everybody mentions? Well... It's actually not for certain which tomb it was okay. that Jesus resurrected from. But first of all, it kind of, be careful when I say this, it doesn't matter what tomb it was, okay. but the fact that people were talking talking about it, okay. 11 independent sources said that Jesus existed. Six of them said that what was going around at that time was that Jesus resurrected. Okay. The body was missing. Appearances of Jesus all over, mm-hmm. transcribed in history, and again, the radicality of the, the disciples. Okay. It, they were they, they were convinced. The, they, they, they no no doubt about it. Yes. They saw Jesus. It's after he died. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the I think God also is is perfect in his ways and asked to not reveal to us with certainty where Jesus resurrected from because what would we do are us as skeptics as nature I would say that that could be just any regular tomb that everybody keeps looking exactly. at and taking pictures of exactly and you know? and and that's why that again God is perfect in his ways mm-hmm. it doesn't matter where he resurrected I want to be careful mm-hmm. with saying that but you, I think you know what I mean by that mm-hmm. it doesn't necessarily matter the location but we know that it happened the fact it, happened it it and it's not it's not that I saw it for myself. Mm-hmm. It's that, again, these Jews had nothing to gain from it. Mm-hmm. The body of Jesus was missing. The Pharisees had to lie and cover it up, pay the Roman centurions mm-hmm. to lie, to, to go against their code of honor. So he's like, hey, I'm a... think, think yeah. about how radical that is. So that's then, a, is, that part, is that like exhibit A? Is that one exhibit of your... A is, is, is that, as a matter of fact, okay. that Jesus' body was missing. Okay. That nobody, there's no skeletal remains of Jesus. From the tomb that everybody saw him go inside the tomb, the body, the lifeless body. Mm-hmm. Okay. No one had seen that. Is there manuscripts out there that that can verify the soldiers' claims and all this? In, in, in this? I, I, I believe that there is. Okay. I believe that same Roman centurion who pierced uh, Jesus mm-hmm. and where Jesus' blood... Uh, ran out and water began to run out, mm-hmm. fulfilling the prophecy. Um, I believe that same Roman centurion uh, wrote his own testimony, wrote his own uh, perspective, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, Wouldn't the Pharisees or anybody want to shut him down too? Or shut of course. Him? Yeah. And of that's course. what you're mentioning. That's that what he was, he was, he was, there was money involved to try to not say a word. Okay. They, 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 uh, they paid Judas. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, to reveal Jesus. Uh, the, like, the, come on now. Yeah. It, of course you. Again, what would happen if Jesus resurrected from the dead? Mm-hmm. Everything that the Sadducees and Pharisees were doing was wrong. They had to stop, mm-hmm. but they didn't want to let go. And it, and, and I think by reading the Bible, I can understand that that the resurrection also would prove that everything that He had said to them about who He was 
would would go and just basically just shut everybody down into that's who, what it did to what he is so so and, and i'm again i'm playing the unbeliever part here so i don't believe i don't, I don't believe in a resurrection i don't believe um that a figurehead came from uh wherever wherever he came from and and, and put his seed in in the flesh you know so so there's a lot of things that i don't believe but one of the things that's hard to believe is the resurrection because, I think I I'd, you know, I'd go as far as to say it's the hardest yeah, to believe. Yeah, yeah. Everything else can be explained. It's it's just you know mm -hmm. a coincidence. If you want to call the resurrection of Jesus a coincidence, it's mm -hmm. the greatest coincidence. Mm -hmm. It's what our faith as Christians hinges on. Okay. It, it depends on the fact that Jesus resurrected. And I think I told you earlier mm -hmm. that First Corinthians fifteen four uh, fourteen, if Jesus if Christ has not been raised from the dead, then our faith is in vain and your mm -hmm. preaching is in vain. It's in vain. It's, it's, it means there's no God. Mm -hmm. It means God isn't powerful. Mm -hmm. It means no one loves you. It means you live an absurd life. And he's mortal. It means, it means yeah. everything is, is meaningless. Mm -hmm. And the, everything, everything written in the Bible is a fairy tale. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's, what, other, what other evidence do you have? Um... Well, th those three, mm -hmm. I'm trying to be. I, I I have more than that. Okay. But speaking as to, if you're playing that type of advocate, yeah. Yeah. I have to level with you yeah. and say these three facts are agreed among scholars. Okay. Scholars, the highest level of education, okay. agree to these three facts. Jesus's body was missing. Simply okay. put, Jesus was appearing to over 500 people at the same time. Okay. And then third, that the, the disciples had a incredibly radical transformation. And I have others, but if, if I tell you them, they require you to have faith okay. and believe. So I think I'll just leave that out. I'm presenting to you these three facts so at this, the moment. So these appearances that you mentioned in the second fact that you're presenting, those appearances, why are they not more mentioned in the Bible? I mean, the Bible only mentions a couple appearances, but there's not many more appearances and mentioned. Um, is, is there other literature out there that proves that these appearances uh, happen or is there something out there that can validate hey this has happened because I, i'm always reading what's in the bible what are, what about the other ones you're mentioning i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken again that ethiopia was one of the first nations to receive the gospel as well okay that they had to have had a supernatural experience in the in the long-standing history of the bible the nation of the region, the area of Ethiopia is, has been favored. Mm -hmm. um, it escapes the name at the moment, but that the eunuch who helped Jeremiah in the well, mm. he was in the region from Ethiopia. He was a slave. Mm -hmm. Simon of Cyrene, around the area of Ethiopia, the one who helped Jesus mm -hmm. carry the cross in the mm -hmm. book of Luke. You have the one who Philip ministered to, mm -hmm. the rich... Ethiopia. Uh, man on the chariots mm -hmm. so for a long standing time and it's and it's even rumored that in the uh in ethiopia is what is known as the ark of the covenant mm -hmm. so if i'm not mistaken uh, i think there is literature on that as to jesus possibly being and there. we're talking about manuscripts and, that go back and thousands at, of years. and at, and at that i want to say too that jesus not only well he he could only appear to those who would believe mm -hmm. in him you know, it, so if I were a non-believer at that point, he would not. Appear it's to me. it's exact because you would still deny mm. because you don't want to believe. Is that where the story of Thomas comes in play? Yes. Okay. It, so why did perfect he appear, example? Why did he appear to him? To prove, I think in John fourteen it says no. I'm sorry. Where it's Haida, I believe, mm. speaking to Jesus to help save his daughter mm -hmm. um, he says i believe help my unbelief mm -hmm. it's like that's a weird contrast right but that's kind of the point it's like i have this much faith but prove me wrong by, right. by pro coming up to me i believe that i i hope mm -hmm. i want to be careful to say that that you're real that you resurrected mm -hmm. prove prove it and if god sees that he'll do it yeah think of paul 
-hmm. Think of James, Jesus' own brother, mm -hmm. ridiculed him all of his life mm -hmm. because he, Jesus kept saying, I, I, mm -hmm. I am the one sent from heaven. I am the son of man. I am, I am the bread of life. I am the living waters. I am all these things. And the, Jew, the Jews weren't uh, ignorant to these things. They knew what Jesus was saying. Mm -hmm. it, took, it took the resurrection, the radical change mm -hmm. of Jesus' own bloodline, mm -hmm. To, to change him to be the leader of the Jerusalem church. So that radical change you're mentioning, right? So is 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 you you're saying that because of his appearances is a, and the what the, the the apostles saw, the disciples saw is what allowed the church to become the church. Is that what it is because it allowed them to preach the gospel with with because when you look at Peter's first sermon, you know, um, he had authority, like he believed what he was saying. He had a new uh, conviction. Yeah, and and is it and it, that wasn't the Holy Ghost? Is that is it, it because he, because the Bible says that Peter got up filled with the Holy Ghost. So that conviction didn't come from the Holy Ghost, or was it? Did it come from him believing that God had resurrected, or is it both? I believe it was both. A little bit of both. Okay. Because the the Jews didn't believe in a resurrection until the end of times mm -hmm. that's that's the whole idea behind pharisees and sadducees mm -hmm. that the pharisees believe that there's going to be a resurrection of the dead right. at the end of times sadducees don't believe that yeah. but jesus that's was, basically the same concept from lazarus sisters mm -hmm. they believed in a resurrection but not the resurrection of you know the the, the latter resurrection you know so they, they believe said, that eventually yeah but not at that moment. Not at and that Jesus moment. is saying, I, I'll, I I'll show you. I'll right. prove you. <laughs> right. So, so a lot of it does. So when it comes to the radical transformation in the disciples, in the apostles, when, when you're mentioning that, um, are you, are you willing to, are you, are you so far to say that before the resurrection, they didn't believe that he was who yes. he said he was, or yes. they did believe, or did they need the resurrection to believe? Cause that's, to me, it's like, that's my that's if, if i were to ask a question so if you if you're saying that they needed the resurrection to believe so what happened what all this time that they were with jesus why didn't they believe him then or did they believe him or did they not believe him what was the what's the answer there again i use i use the same line okay i believe help my unbelief okay i, I think that basically comes down to we need that too mm -hmm. sometimes we tell god that mm -hmm. I, I believe but help my unbelief um where were, let me ask you this, where were the Jews, I'm sorry, where were the 12 mm -hmm. when Jesus had arisen? Do you know? They were hidden. They were hiding, um, from my understanding. They were Why hiding. do you think they were hiding? <laughs> um, because, I mean, there's a lot of different ideas out yeah. there, but, you know, uh, one of the first ones is that they were, they really believed that he was a Messiah. They were, they were at that point, in my opinion, they were very sad at what had happened. Yes. They were still Very mourning. Sad. They were mourning. Why so, do you? Why were they mourning? Mm -hmm. They didn't think Jesus was going to come back. Yeah. They said, "Man, my best friend. Yeah. The one who was going around doing my miracles teacher. like crazy. My my rabbi mm -hmm. is left. They killed him incorrectly. Mm -hmm. Now what? Yeah. That was no kidding. What was going through their minds, yeah. man? I, but it, it's in the. It's beautiful to imagine, and this goes back to the idea of. Jesus' body was missing. Mm -hmm. On whose testimony does the entire gospel hinge on? The gospel, the good news that mm -hmm. Jesus resurrected. On whose testimony does it rely on? It relies on the, on, the, on the four gospels. Back it up. Yeah. Who were the first people to find out? On the women that visited the tomb. Do you know how important, how valid, how valuable a mm -hmm. woman's word was? and Unimportant unvaluable yeah had no value yes correct look at the at woman that, and that, at that time. look at the woman adulterer yeah look at the the woman with the issue of blood right they despised the women when they tried to speak yeah. out of turn and, and i get where you're going here is that they were willing to give the women credit for no more that, than more than that more than that they were willing to say everything that she's saying is true okay like i was too much of a coward to go to Jesus's tomb and, and seek him for mm -hmm. myself. I was still mourning. Yeah. I was still too sad. Yeah. But the women had hope. The mm -hmm. women still cared for my rabbi while I was still crying. And that's, that's exalting the woman mm -hmm. in a, in a, in a 
in the one way to say it, mm-hmm. and lowering the testimony of, a, of the man, of the disciple. Yeah. The, the disciples could have easily said, we came first. Yeah. We take credit. And that's, that's what I'm trying to, ex- uh, yeah. not exaggerate, but magnify right. what, what you're saying by give credit. It's more than credit. It's more say it hinges on mm-hmm. what they had to say. You call their word invaluable. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'm going to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. They, they went there first. Yeah. You can't even find the body. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, you know. And 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 I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing advocate right now. But <laughs> I think that's one of the things um, that I, one of my one of my positions is this in regards to the resurrection. It's is almost the same concept of what you're trying to um, how to explain certain things is that they had their proof, they had their fact. Ooh, yes. You know, so and they were willing to die. Yeah. So exactly. Yes. So. A lot of times, a lot of people want their proof, want their fact, and they had it because once they saw him, in the, and and that's one thing. A lot of a lot of theologians will say, "Well, did he manifest himself in spirit or in flesh?" I believe he did it in both ways, you know. So, um, but they had their fact. They had the what they called the uh, the the smoking gun. I don't know if you know yeah, what that I phrase know. is, it's, right? It's a, it's a figurative it's, metaphor. It's, it's, a, it's a metaphor that says this is my ace in the hole. You know, so this is what I was looking for. The, the evidence, now I have it. Now I have seen it with my own eyes. And and I think, I know a lot of people but bash bless, on Thomas. Blessed are those. That believe without seeing, right? Mm-hmm. So I know That's a lot of people bash on Thomas. John 20, 29. Yeah. So I know a lot of people bash on Thomas, but at the same time, I think Thomas was also a, an, an instrument that was going to be used by God. Used and, his- and he should, and he was going to, and I, he wanted to demonstrate, Hey Thomas, you still got a lot of work to do and I'm just showing you who I am, you know? And that's where the unbelief comes apart. So it's like a lot of us, we want that, that fact and, and we need that fact. Like, and that's something that you're teaching and, and explaining in, in your channel. And I really do appreciate that. So <laughs> it's I don't God. know if you have anything else to say. Well, it, it's just, I'll say two things. If Jesus, leaving aside believing in God or not believing in God, mm-hmm. if Jesus resurrected from the dead, mm-hmm. you better believe what he has to say. Right. He told the truth. He, uh, one apologist said, if a guy can resurrect himself from the dead, mm-hmm. he's probably got pretty credible reliability yeah. in his word. Mm-hmm. Let Let these three facts lead you to the truth. Mm-hmm. They're not... They're almost impossible to refute. They're almost impossible to to just say all three of these are inconsistent with each other. Much more, they're in uh, so bonded well together. Mm-hmm. If you if you can try to disprove mm-hmm. the the missing body, you still have the sudden appearances. Mm-hmm. You still have the radical change of the disciples. If you want to say, oh, the disciples were just you know they were just having fun because mm-hmm. that's what a lot of people try to go for. Mm-hmm. They try to say that uh, the dis- uh, the transformation wasn't a credit to them that it was fake. Right. The disciples got it wrong. The disciples did it later, whatever it be. Okay, but you still have the missing body and the and the appearances of Jesus. Mm-hmm. If you want to go for oh, people were um had uh they were hypnotized. Mm-hmm. They they were um given an illusion to believe. Okay, again, prove me how the body was missing, mm-hmm. that the Pharisees had to pay off the mm-hmm. Roman centurions to lie. And the radical transformation. You have to explain all of these three mm-hmm. cohesively mm-hmm. at the same time. And no naturalist explanation has been able to yeah. do so. Been able to prove that these three facts are inconsistent. That's it, why these three facts are so yeah. strong. And even if you try to refute, there's other additional facts that can yes. that you can add on. Yes. So I mean it's that's one of the things about God. And even like the apostle says, he cannot lie. He does he, not lie. He only knows truth. Exactly. That's what it means to be omnis- yeah. Um, omniscient. Yeah. He only knows what is true. He yeah. knows you're lying because you're not telling the truth. Correct. So because he is the truth. So and and that's one of the things that um you know about Jesus Christ, about his sovereignty is that you can try as many ways in your human intellect to try to disprove anything that he has done or will do, but uh, you'll never be able to reach his understanding. So and the human mind and the human understanding has a certain capacity. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times people, and especially in this generation, this time of age, they want facts. They want to they want to know what's truth. going on. They want truth. So and and 
and it's, it's like that saying action speaks louder than words that's very good so very good. And, and and when it comes to when it comes to truth that is that the truth is what speaks louder than what your mind can understand so and and I, and what you're doing, man, I, man, praise God for it, man, because I think we need a younger generation it's God, to, 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 to submerge their mind and their heart into knowing more, you know, and, and let God, their, God's spirit guide them when they talk to somebody to let be give, uh, guided by the spirit like the apostles were because they were, they had their fact and now their spirit was just pushing them, mm-hmm. you know, and they were willing, like you said, give their life to to get this message to everybody as many people they could so and and i appreciate that i appreciate that dialogue i, mm-hmm. I know this is something new for activados and uh, but i this is something that we're putting this out there because i think a lot of young people need to understand how to defend the faith and it's a, a that that 66 book that 66 book book that we have library is is great but going outside those parameters is going to help you understand more and it's going to help you to defend better. So, yes. So, indeed. and I appreciate it. I, I, final words. First uh, Corinthians chapter 15, mm-hmm. immerse yourself, read it. Yeah. It's the basis of the resurrection. If you can't, you can believe that Jesus resurrected, mm-hmm. but if you can prove that Jesus re- resurrected, your faith is much more Amen. firm. Praise God, brother. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for your time. And, and uh, it's, we hope that this is a blessing to everybody. If you want to reach out to Brother Ari, uh, Adriel, um, we'll be posting uh, his uh, Instagram information, uh, phone number, email, and, <laughs> and, and <Whoa>. address. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but he's uh, – w- my prayer is that more young men will – young women and young men will rise up like you. And, anybody. And, and anybody, anybody can learn if you're only willing and capable. So Activados, this is what we're about. We're about – and um, We're about activating. Activating our mind and soul. Yeah. And like I said, it's, it's about truth. It's about our vision. It's about life. And, and we want to be able to, to let, let, people, let others know that there's more out there than what we think yep. so and there's so much more that we can learn you amen. Know, so appreciate you and god bless you activados activados amen amen god bless y'all god bless. <laughs> hi thank you for joining us this week on this new episode of activados it was a privilege for you to be here with us and and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please go do it quickly quickly go do it now if you don't if you haven't liked our videos you're missing out that like button is good for you um, also, go look us up on Instagram, Facebook, any of those platforms are going to be on there. And always, always have the joy of the Lord in your heart. There's nothing better than being with us every Thursday on Activados. Thank you very much. Have a great day.